welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to give you a tour of our greenhouse. My husband built it a little over two years ago, and ever since then, we've been using it like crazy. We love it. We grow a whole bunch of different vegetables in there. They're so good. We use them all the time. So if you'd like to know what we have going on, then please keep watching. In addition to the tour, I also wanted to let you guys know that as much as you know how much I love to cook, it was always one of our goals to build a greenhouse because we love to garden, we love fresh vegetables, who doesn't, right? So when we built it, it was kind of in our minds that, yeah, we're going to cook with all the vegetables, but we also want to can as well. And that is going to be, that's going to be another segment or part of my video series. Um, I'm going to bring you through the process of um, kind of how we planted everything. The, the process of maintaining the garden, things like that. I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you updates on how the plants look as they're growing, and I'm also going to show you when it's ready, um, when it's time to actually harvest all your vegetables. Harvest all your vegetables. So it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to doing these videos. I hope you guys get a lot out of them. I just want to put a disclaimer out there. I'm not a professional gardener or anything like that. My husband and I just do it for fun. We really enjoy doing it. So. If you're interested in what we're doing, then please keep watching. So here is an outside view of the greenhouse. I'm going to try to get as good angles as I can. It's really sunny out today, so um, I hope what comes through on the video is actually what it looks like. Um, I don't know quite the dimensions, but I can get that information from my husband and put it in the description box below. There are two doors. One on either side for just convenience. Um, he did build it with a um, wood frame and he did pour concrete in the, um, the upright poles to secure them even more in the ground. So this is it and he used, you'll see on the inside better, but um, this is all rebar um, wire or wire, I don't know what you're going to call it. but. Um, and this is just a mesh shade top. And it's held up really well. I wouldn't expect it not to. He built really good things. <laughs> and this is just um, chicken wire all the way around. So we'll go in this side. Let's start stiffening it up. And there are some lovely stones for the path here. We were thinking about in these areas right here in between the rocks and stuff, we were thinking about laying some granite just to kind of bring in a little bit more level and it might be a little easier to walk on. So let's start on the top. These are planter boxes you planted all the way across as you can see. They're on both sides. We'll go to the next side in a little bit. Um, these are radishes and he's already thinned them out every two inches. That way they don't overcrowd and they don't grow properly. They grow quick, um, so they're going to be really good. We have a basil plant here, some more radishes. We love radishes, if you can tell. Another basil plant, even more radishes. And here is our flat leaf parsley. I use parsley in so much stuff, so I wanted to make sure to do that. Um, there's some more radishes. We love radishes and salads and um, just as a, a quick snack, it's so, so good. Um, basil. I love basil. Um, as you can tell, pesto. I use it in a lot of my pastas, things like that. It's a very good herb to um, season with. And we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five cilantro plants. You can't have a greenhouse or garden without cilantro. If you love it as much as I do, we use it all the time. So it's so fresh. Actually, I'm going to a piece right now. Mm. <laughs> okay, moving down here. This is, these are our peas. Um, I'm going to pull the card so you can see a little better. These are green peas. And the details are on the back. Um, I'm not going to talk about the details too much as far as how long they take to harvest and all that kind of stuff because I'm going to go over that in more videos but I can put some of that information in a video in the um, description below. Um, we have here cantaloupe. 
Cantaloupe is one of my favorite fruits, so we wanted to try this out. We haven't tried a cantaloupe yet. Um, so, first time for everything. Let me see if I can zoom in or just kind of scoot the camera down. These are all carrots. They're just regular carrots. We had so many grow um, last year. They turned out so good and they are so fresh, juicy. They taste so good, so we had to do them again. Um, but there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, about four rows of carrots. I think we have more on the other side too. We'll check. Here is cucumber. And this is gonna be good for pickling cucumber. They're gonna be um, smaller cucumbers. They're actually called heirloom Boston pickling. So, gotta love that. Here we have tomato. I think we did about six tomato plants this year. In the past, we've done a lot more. And it's hard to keep up with eating them all. Um, and I didn't can as much in the past as I would have liked to. So I am definitely going to do that this year. And I would love to show you guys how I do that. But this is a Better Boy tomato. Um, it's a hybrid tomato. It's going to be so good. We've had these before. They're juicy. They're nice and plump. They don't disappoint. Here is another tomato. This is called Redker's Heirloom Tomato. We don't like to just get the same tomato plant. We like to do a little variety of it, so that's what that is. In this corner, all by itself, this is, I believe this is our watermelon. Um, we did a watermelon before, it turned out really good. So, just wanted to give another shot. I love watermelon, by the way, so. Here's another tomato plant. This one's a solar fire heat tolerant hybrid tomato. Um, my husband built these cages. He just, I guess, kind of pinched over um, hog paneling, something like that. And um, if you live in Texas, obviously you know you need stuff that's heat tolerant. And this one will be really good because we're in Texas and that's what we needed. <laughs> Here's our beautiful rosemary. Um, it's doing really good. We love rosemary. Let's see these guys right here. We have two rows on this side. Then it curves all the way around and goes on the other side. These are our um, garden green beans. And the reason um, you don't see them on the fence is because they don't crawl as much. They mainly just kind of grow upright and they shouldn't need the support fences along the, um, you know, holding them up. So we'll see how that goes, but they're already starting to bud a little bit. Love green beans, so hopefully these turn out good. Here, um, here in the middle, there's five mounds. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's one, two, three, four, five. These are potatoes. We love potatoes. I cook with them all the time. And we have some more potatoes. I believe there's four over here. There's one, two, three, four. And moving right along to this side is our zucchini squash. So these are going to be the green ones. I love, no, I'm sorry. This is the crookneck heirloom squash. I was looking at a different um, label. Anywho, I love squash. It's such a good vegetable. I cook with it a lot of different ways. Very tasty. This one is the zucchini squash. So, um, this is the green one. Sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath. I am. <laughs> um, it's going to be really good. We have that. Over on this side, we have our okra. It's another vegetable I love. I love it pickled. I love to fry it. All different things. And these little buds right here, this is actually spinach. It grew all over the side right here um, last year, I guess. It was so fresh. It was probably the best spinach I've ever had. If you've never had like very fresh spinach, you're missing out. You should try to find it. Um, it's so good. <laughs> Okay, these three, one, two, three, these are all um, 
pel uh, bell pepper. These two on the end of the red bell pepper and then green. Back there we have another of the crookneck squash. That's the yellow one. Can't get enough of that. Let's see here. Here we have a tomato. This is one of those heat tolerant solar red tomato plants. It'll do really good. I can't wait to start eating all this stuff. Getting hungry just talking about it. <laughs> Here's a butter boy tomato. I already showed you this on the other side. And then we have, let me get out of the light, a couple rows of some onions. There's more up top too. And here's another tomato. Um, I'm glad we're doing so many tomatoes because I'll be able to can a lot too with like salsa, tomato sauce, you know, that kind of stuff. And here is another cucumber plant, the one I showed you on the other side. Up top here, we have lots and lots of green onion. We love onion, cook with it so much. This is a Swiss chard that is coming back from last year. It's really good. You ever had Swiss chard? I like it a lot. More onion and more. <laughs> and this is a chive, uh, it's called chive grass, chive plant, something like that. It's so tasty. Um, Oh, it's so good. It tastes really good if you put them in a potato or, I don't know, whatever you want, baked potato, something like that. So that is pretty much everything we have in here. My husband did install um, automatic watering system. That's what that black tube is. It follows all the way up. It goes all the way around um, all sides of the greenhouse. It makes it a lot easier for us when we want to water. And there's all these um, water spigots. So we make sure everything can get watered evenly. See, so we have them just hanging there. But yeah, this was the tour. Everything is gonna turn out so good. And as hot it is, as it is here, and the placement of the greenhouse um, with not a lot of shade, the shade mesh, oh my gosh, it makes such a big difference. You have to have it or everything would just burn. Um, if you are doing a greenhouse, you have to do that. So, or I guess plastic, depending on where um, where you live. But that is really it. We have some other raised beds. Um, we have some planter boxes in the front. I'll show you also. So we'll make our way over there. So let's go out this way. When we started building the house, um, we did this. That's Robert and Margo, 2014. These are the planter boxes. There's three. There's one, two, and three. Um, they're raised, I don't know, about 12 to 16 inches off the ground, so they're raised planter boxes. Let me go around the other side. This whole top here pops off. Um, it's a little heavy right now for me to lift on my own simply because I'm pregnant and you know, you have to kind of watch what you lift, but if I wasn't, it's really easy to come off and it's secure, so um, we don't have any problems with birds or deer getting into this or the greenhouse, because we do have a lot of deer out here and that can become a problem. Here is a tomato. There's Ella. Ella, sweetie. Um, this is, like I said, a tomato. This is the red beefsteak. These are gonna be nice and big. They'll be juicy. Um, what is it? <laughs> yeah, so we're excited about that. Here's a variety of cherry tomatoes. I love cherry tomatoes, they're so good. And these, I swear they do so good out here. We get so much sun in this area. And um, yeah, they just, they grow like crazy. So this is the Husky Red Cherry Tomato. And this one we have our two jalapeno plants. Aww. The plants we have in here are two jalapeno plants. They grow 
um, a large amount of jalapenos on each bush, so we only needed two. That will suffice. That'll be sufficient enough for us. And then the last one is just like the first box. It's the beef steak and the cherry tomato. So, um, yes, my husband did these. He did the cage in there. Again, it's just that hog paneling. Um, and he just fused it together with, what is that? Uh, just a little piece of wire. We had the material anyway, and it was free, so um, why go buy, you know, all those cages if you don't need them? Because we needed quite a few, and they can get expensive depending on how many you need. So that is that. Um, what else? What else? I think that is it for now. But thank you for walking with me and in and watching my tour. So that wraps up the tour of the greenhouse. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to do this new series with you guys. I can't wait to start cooking with everything we're growing. It's going to be really good. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. So if you have any questions, please let me know down below. I'd be happy to get back with you. And I will put some more details about the greenhouse in the um, comment or the description box below. So check there for more information. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.